Hello and welcome to the course of the dead gods. Um, okay, A is my... okay. So this will be probably the first roguelike of this kind that's gonna show up on our channel. Um, and if I'm unlucky enough, you'll see why. You don't usually see me playing roguelikes. And precisely why. Hand of Fate was the only game like that that I played and completed. Nonetheless, I'll give it a try. I do not know if this game can be completed because with some roguelikes you can complete them, the others you don't. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage you take. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of your screen to know if you're standing in the light or in darkness. Thank you for letting me know that I can use my torch to light up braziers. Dodge with right trigger. Attack action to even attack with your weapons. What's happening? Okay, she shoots automatically. Hold mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to charge attack. Hold secondary attack for a while. Okay. Secondary attack after a series of main attacks to trigger and Okay, one, two, three. Oh. Use dodge action to evade enemy attacks. Successfully evading and victory is a perfect dodge. Oh. And parry with left trigger. Come on. So thank you. Oh, I did not read through that at all. are gifts from the dead gods to whose to those who overcome the trials of the temple. Jade wings are bound to your character and persist even after death. 
After each exploration, you can trade jade wings in the underworld to gain access to new gear. And I, uh, we will figure things out uh, as we go. Mm -hmm. The problem is, I did work a little bit of this game. So I know just a tiny bit. Obviously not enough to finish it. Uh, watch out for corruption gold at the bottom. Each door you go through increases corruption. For each full gold you become corrupted. Crossing the next door curse you. Huh. Oh, you also curse me. I hmm. Thank you. Yes, I keep trying to dodge with B. that this will be the death of me because I will be trying to dodge using B not trigger again whispering eggies and it will I think we can use that. Can we? We can only leave you. Okay. More health, more treasure. More health and more treasure. At the cost of even more curse. Corruption. Sorry. Corruption. Sulfurous birds. The Amog's dominion is fire. Dominion. Trap it in a bottle and the bottle will explode. Explosive birds have an increased explosion radius. We have not... We didn't find any. Exploding barrels. Mm, curses and modifiers, and last until the end of the run. Beware of the fifth and final curse, for it will strongly jeopardize your chances of success. Oh, oh sorry. I already feel that my success. Oh. Huh. Has a slim chance of appearing. And We definitely don't want to deal with those barrels. Or do we? I tried. <laughs> We have no healing whatsoever. I most want to get rid of you first. Thank you. Ben was fangs. Yes. But okay, I cannot 
offer my my original weapons to the gods. Interesting. Do I want any more corruption? Plus 20% base damage for throwing weapons? Not really. Gold rings remove 15 corruption. Yeah, probably I don't have enough gold. <laughs> Plus one of the cursed weapons. Um, I think we can offer some blood. Okay, we have some new investory lurkers. I'm trying to. Oh, and the wives. Thank you. Healing or unknown? I'm much more keen on the unknown. <laughs> I must admit. Who are you? Oh, great. That's not what I expected. Trapped chests. The only blow that cannot be parried is the dagger you thrust into yourself. Greed is the most ferocious of all enemies. Chests are sealed and trigger an attack that must be parried to unlock them. Chests have a chance to drop an additional gear item. I forgot that we change our weapon. Really? I hope that we can just walk away. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't want to offer any more blood. We are already in a very tough situation. Attributes. those interesting hmm unfortunately we don't have any bombs I don't know if we can get any bombs thank you hmm honestly I would love to not get No. 
else. Maybe I'll learn how to fight in this game. Plus 15% damage to fire attacks. We don't use fire attacks. At least not yet. You are my number one priority. Thank you. Now we can offer some gold. Remember gold, not blood. Healing it is. Keep forgetting that it won't ask you if you want to use it. You just will. Curse of the Headless. The memories of a hundred tragic deaths can bring both power and madness to the strongest warrior's soul. As long as you haven't killed 30 enemies, all damage taken is increased by 50%. You do permanent haste, increased movement speed. There she is. What was that? Oh, another attack. Do we have enough? Attacks from behind deal 30% more damage. Don't mind if I do. I really have no head. I wasn't sure that we we're... I wasn't aware that we are going for the Dead Cells character. 19 enemies. Are we safe walking around in darkness? That was close. Burning enemy response. Nope. Missed again. We have enough for more health. Thank you. The champion. We still have not enough enemies killed. The Blood Hunter, champion of the Jaguar. Jaguar. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that also hurts us. Damn it. Victory, the blood hunter hunts. Okay. The underworld is a place between life and death where the dead gods slumber. Mm -hmm. So here we have stone ha hammer or braided whip as our main, new main weapons. Hmm. Blessings of the dead gods are powerful passive abilities that will help you during you're doing subsequent explorations. Okay. We have some unlocked. Hmm. Okay. Greed gives us one more stamina. That sounds nice. Gain 1000 gold and 5 perception at the start of your exploration. Yes. In this one. Okay. But I think I'm gonna end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.